Hello, what's up guys? This is Nuresha and today I'm going to unbox and review the smart 10 inch balancing wheels as you can see that by the box of it it's not the smaller version it's a 10 inch version actually it's a, it's a bigger version of uh, many people call it different different things like somebody call it smart uh, hoverboard somebody someone calls it segway or mini segways and different different names are totally different but in the end you get this all same Chinese thing around the box as you can see that it's a pretty pretty big ball and it's also heavy as well as you can see this all box around it there you go. there's nothing need to look around in the box anyway so what we're gonna do we're gonna unbox it straight out there you go in the unboxing so let's see what we got inside the package itself here in the package itself it's got a user manual and i've just gone through a little bit of it but it's being honest with you it's not really a great manual which you can read about but it's a pretty acceptable and it give you normal information and different different things so that's your manual put it aside all right here's your fast charger for the lithium battery actually it's a very fast charger and it's always handy to have it it's very nice obviously i ordered for uk so it came with the uk plug if you order for america or if you order for america or you you countries you will get the suitable plug let's get it out <clears throat> that's just name and right there it's got a little bit of covering right here and it's got a remote control with it okay as you can see this remote control it does look like a bugatti bugatti wire or remote control sort of thing but not really it's got a lock unlock button on it and some sound button there's no information whatsoever present inside the user manual so being honest with you that's what i said you know that the user manual is a crap so i'm going to put it outside at the moment so let's open up this furthermore inside in the box throw them in we don't need oh, this is what we got the segway right here as you can see by the color of it i ordered especially this one actually because i like the color of it i don't want it to do any funky thing on it so i just liked it that way so that's how i order so i'm going to open up and show put it outside and uh, hopefully it will be fully charged actually because i've not checked the power battery on it battery can last for longer enough as well so if i tell you if you could charge it for at least two hours you manage to get it quite a lot amount out, out of it and the maximum speed of this one is 16 kilo kilometers that's pretty good decent speed if you're walking and everything i think you know if you fall down on that speed that could harm you pretty damn it badly as well all right so without wasting our time let's open up all right that's how it looks like in the end guys as you can see that by the look of it, it looks very awesome okay obviously it's got all these funky colors on it obviously skulls are there and everything it just looked like a nice schoolboy sort of thing but i'm not a schoolboy i'm a i'm a 30 years old old man so 30 years old man and in terms of working of it it's very simple and straightforward but before that we just need to go around it what he's got what's not got it these all the tires these are not flattable these are flattable tires so they are not permanent okay so you obviously need the proper air pressure inside of them so air nozzles and everything is right there let's have a look at this one as you can see it's quite clearly and i just wanted to make sure you know what we're talking about here the power button for that is in the bottom here we go as you can see this power button right there it do have a speaker inside when you power it up it will go do the beep beep and all these things and right there you can see the charging plug it's an industrial charging plug side guys so normally when i have to charge it what i do actually i put it that way so it's easy and accessible and i put my charging right there on it simple is that it is just like that so you can start your charger in there all right and you can twist it over so you can lock it as well very easy straightforward guys no hassle whatsoever but when it's charging obviously the light will turn on on here right there when it's a red color means it's charging once once it go green that's a fully charged so it takes not a lot a lot of time about two hours and it works pretty good so simple as that this is a, this is only information you got on it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to power it up in front of you first time so let's see what happens there's a little bit of extra information i would like to give you away with that it's like uh, Obviously, these are the pressure sensors where you're gonna where you're gonna, where you're going to stand on it because it will define you know define the position. It will define that somebody is on it, all right. And right in the front of it, right there and here, on the both side, you see the lights on it. So obviously, it's give you the clear enough notification that what's happening with it, okay. And right there, obviously, it's a green button, and also when it's powered up and all these things. So that's this is how it looks like. And if you can see that front and backwards is exactly the same setup, all right. Let's power it up by pressing the button right there you see the green light is on that means it's fully charged all right and one more thing 
obviously when you go to the high speed it also beeps you to warn you that i'm running on a high speed at this moment it's fully charged but it's not doing any so what will happen as soon you put your foot down on it it will start it because that's what it tells them you know here you go start your gyros and everything i'm ready to rumble i have never tried riding on it so i'm going to try it in front of you first time let's see how how to define it all right all right i'm going to go now i'm going to ride it obviously it's on at the moment so i'm going to turn the power off you would see me it can take about 100 and 120 kilo so i'm sure my weight will be fine on it shouldn't be a problem <laughs> so first of all now i'm going to turn the power on there you go straight up there you go oh, oh, oh. that's not bad that's not bad oh, oh, oh. bad for the first time obviously when you lean on in the front it'll go forward lean back it'll go back so simple instruction is that right it's like exactly the way you stand on it simple is that if you want to turn around you just do it that way you just do it all right simple is that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you all these different different tricks on it and everything as you can see that it's very very nice actually that's what I'm doing myself it's not doing by itself so I can stand still that will stand still as well and I can feel the J-Rows working on my feet guys very nicely they are working and performing well as you can see that I'm gonna go back I hope not gonna fall out all right yeah that's right it's doing what it's supposed to do being honest with you guys so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna grab my selfie stick and I'm gonna film it straight away like that on it and show you how it's working now I'm sure it will let you decide is it nice to have it or not okay let's do that one as well so so if you want to take off, simply do not hesitate. That's what I've, I've seen it as well. If you hesitate, it will flip it over. Okay? So just simply come up. So simple as that, guys. Don't need to do anything. I want to ride on it. Just put the foot down. Put it, one foot it out. Go up there. And I can put up. Second foot up as well. There you go. Straight forward. the job what it says on the tin all right guys let's get the set of selfie stick and see how it's gonna look like in, on it there we go it's not that heavy see I can lift it just like that but I think it's roughly weighs about uh, about 12 kilo I think so yeah but I can't leave it lift it for a long time that's that's the point all right guys so I forgot to mention one more thing on it as you can see that this is a battery light and also over here it's going to show you is it live or not so if i put my foot on it what will happen you can see that now so if i put my foot on it there you go as you can see this round on it that means it's live and also the light in the front will come on too guys so that light is on that means this side of gyro is active this side is not that's when i put my another foot down on it you can't see that but you can see the light on it too so these both lights are on so anyone which will activate obviously the light start to flash on it so that's that's how it is very straightforward so there you go i'm on it now let's see how it goes looks pretty good and decent oh i don't want to see this side actually don't want to look it into the video because I might fall over, so let's turn around here. All right, I'm gonna go this way now. It's a little bit of unbalancing, you know, when it comes to running it a bit faster. It's not that bad. quite smooth right actually I was rec started recording as you can see that this is how it looks like so you need to make sure your know, feet are pretty straight on it and when you go lean forward it's, they should go fine as you can see that if my feet are not aligned properly it's gonna go like it's gonna do that thing so just make sure your feet are straight forward 
and we are on it now so we're running it so that's not bad at all guys being honest with you and it's a damn fast so i'm going to show you a lap like that so i'm going to go straight there you can see that how fast it's going so if i make any mistake so i'm going to have a trouble so this is how i'm real time going this is very fast hey you guys see that i just almost got accident on it so about leave that one all right so we're going to try it again one more time okay so simple nicely let's start again if you lean too much forward obviously it's not good at all then not bad guys we are back now and uh, being honest with you i just had a quite good amount of fun with it i know in video i just showed you for a couple of minutes but i had about about half an hour fun of it and all neighbor kids were on it as well so they all were enjoying so if somebody asks me do you want to buy this one for the christmas present and want to enjoy the christmas with it uh, i would say yes being honest with you guys and this is from china as well and it's a very robust quality it's not like uh, it's not it's not like it's going to fall into the bits you know if, as soon you ride on it you know as you can see that you know it, it can hold up to 130 30 kilo on it but i am roughly 110 anyways so it hold me nicely so obviously it for, it's for kids actually i was just riding it for fun so it's for kids so i'm sure i think i would i would personally highly, highly recommend this sort of product you know if you're looking for your kid will be loving you for sure so for that okay then Thank you very much for watching this and if you've got any questions about it do let me know i'll be gladly answer any of your queries with it and i will be putting also putting the link from where i bought it actually it was far cheaper it came from china it took us about it took us it took it about 15 days it's worth waiting for it being honest with you because uh, if you buy it from here itself you know it's gonna cost you about you know quite a lot actually extra amount of money and if you buy from the originals original source which was io 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 hack or something like that uh, there is about quite very expensive but this is you know less than about it's about 40 percent of their price so this thing and it's heavy and it's very big as well as you can see the wheels i'm just gonna go show you full around it i had a couple of bumps with it as well guys so a couple of marks are here because uh, i just missed it as a couple of marks right there a couple of marks right there as you can see that it's a very very in very very fragile sort of in this sense you know what we what would recommend you can if you can have a some sort of a rubber rubber sort of thing right here which could help is a lot because normally what happens is just tips over like this you know it tips over like that that's that's where it creates the marks otherwise there's no need of creating a mark in the bottom you know don't create any marks in the bottom side so obviously a rubber plate right there would help him a lot and eventually you can color change it any any color you want it you know it's your own choice as well okay this is the one i liked it and being honest with you i like my choice whatever whatever is the reason behind it so I'll drop this video right here and I'm sure you're gonna like this one and if you like it do buy it you know it's not necessary buy it from the link I provided buy anywhere you want it but you're gonna have a great fun for sure okay then guys I'll stop it here and see you in the next video bye bye